I was recently helping a channel community member and Enthusiasm Business customer set up his audio system, calibrate his audio system with an Anthem MRX receiver that I recommended that he purchase for his setup. And as we were trying to get Arc Genesis running, we were trying to get even just set up for initial quick measure, let alone the full Arc Genesis sequencing, we were never able to actually detect and identify the microphone on the computer that he was using to run the calibration. He had a Windows laptop, the microphone was plugged in, and it just would absolutely not present itself in the Arc Genesis software. After a little bit of searching around, some problem solving, and some debugging, we found that there's actually a little bit of a bug with regards to the Anthem microphones, Arc Genesis, and particularly more with regards to Windows and using the microphone on Windows, whereby you might actually need to disable some internal devices to your Windows operating system in your computer to be able to use the microphone and complete your Arc Genesis calibrations. Anthem actually has a help article, like a support article published about this that tells you how to do it, where to go, and what to disable. But given it was something that we kind of stumbled into out of the blue, and there was no direct help or information or whatnot available directly in Arc Genesis, uh, we were left confused and looking for a solution. So I figured, hey, this is a good topic for a video. If this helps somebody very quickly and efficiently move around or bypass and solve the problems that they're having using Anthem products and Arc Genesis and seeing their microphone, well, this video is for you. So let's take a look actually at the support article and what you need to do in Windows potentially uh, to make some system level changes that will make the microphone usable. All right, here we are at the support article. Uh, basically, I'm trying to run arc measurement, but it is not recognizing the microphone. Do I need to change any settings? So Anthem published this last modified date here is actually October 6th. 2025 so not too far uh, before actually making this video i don't know if actually this is relatively new information it's been known for a while and this has just been updated but in any case this is available at the site faq.anthemav.com again it is the official anthem support site and i will link to this page down in the description as well but if we go through this it basically says if you're not able to select the microphone in arc genesis software you likely need to check the privacy settings on your device to ensure the desktop applications have access um, if this is enabled, there may be a USB driver related issue. And so that's, this is actually what ended up resolving the issue when I was uh, interfacing with a customer to set up their system. So the comment here, if you are using a Dell, Acer, Lenovo, or HP laptop running Windows with Intel audio, that's the key, and you're unable to see the microphone, you need to disable some Intel smart sound technology drivers just temporarily. So if you go into control panel, you go into device manager, you can find under system devices, these two entries here. Uh, first is called Intel Smart Sound Technology, Intel SST OED. Well, the second one is the same, but it's called the audio controller. And there is a note here, newer devices on Windows 11 may not have the audio controller driver. If so, you only need to disable the OED. And I will comment that when I was helping the customer out, we did not in fact find the audio controller in his device manager. It was just the OED and disabling the OED resolved this problem. So anyway, if you go into these options, um, the properties basically for, for either one, amongst the options you have is the ability to disable the device. And according to the note, once you disable these drivers, please disconnect the microphone from here. Restart your laptop, reconnect the microphone, and then Arc Genesis should now see it. So do make sure you do that. Disconnect, restart, come on back, and you should be able to properly use Quick Measure in the full Arc Genesis suite. And then of course, note here, remember re-enable these drivers once you've completed the Arc Genesis calibration. Otherwise your laptop speakers may not play any audio or uh, also perhaps maybe the microphone features of your laptop may not work as they're supposed to either. But that's it. Uh, a couple basic uh, driver disablements in uh, Windows Device Manager and hopefully you're good to go for Anthem Arc Genesis. So there you go, follow that article, follow those instructions, make those changes, restart your system, and hopefully, hopefully, you would have no additional problems. I do wanna reinforce again though, after you make those changes and you're all done with Arc Genesis, make sure you go back into Device Manager, turn those elements back on, re-enable them within Device Manager, otherwise you may have some other unintended side effects for audio operations and microphone operations and other things in Windows if you're video conferencing, using Teams, Zoom, or whatever it may be. So hopefully you found this helpful and do feel free to check out other Anthem product usability review and Arc Genesis instructional content here on the channel. Thanks for watching. And of course, if you are looking to upgrade your home theater system, you're looking to uh, 
you're looking for some consulting, you're looking to procure some equipment, I am Enthusiasm, am a dealer, reseller, integrator, representing and having access to a whole bunch of popular home theater brands, not limited to, but including Kaleidoscape, JVC, Panamore, Focal, Denim Marantz, Sony. I now can carry Epson, Stewart, Seymour screens, and a whole lot more. The list is growing all the time, and I do have a special focus on items that I particularly have an affinity for, that I've taken a liking to, and that I use in my own setups as well. Please reach out to me via jeremy at techthusiasm.net, via email, or go to www.techthusiasm.com for the webpage. My dealer info, all my details are there, a more complete brand listing, uh, and a contact form. But again, if you're thinking about something, please, if you'd like to support me, support the channel, come to me first, and let me try to help you out as best I can. If you would as well, please, I have a whole bunch of affiliates down in the description of every video, as well as on my webpage, Amazon, Audiovice, Crutchfield, Target Walmart, eBay, uh, some apparel stores, a, a whole bunch of options there. Please use them in your everyday shopping. Just click, it costs you nothing, and it's a big benefit to the channel here. I welcome you to become a channel member, leave a super thanks, whatever that may be, especially if this particular video helped you out and removed a struggle that you were having using some Anthem products. And of course, please do that regular YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, hit the bell, share the video, leave a comment, let me know again if this video helped you out, and come on back for more home theater discussion and fun. Thanks.